Common Ground is a faith-based nonprofit community center. We serve primarily the Cedar Grove neighborhood in Shreveport, Louisiana, which um, most of the people who live in Cedar Grove live at or below the poverty level. But really, to me, um, Common Ground is in a former church building. And so we are not a church, but I always tell people we are the church. Common Ground was intentionally built on relationships, on the volunteers who are here, getting to know each other and living life together and being in community with each other, and then also being in relationship and getting to know the community. There are some practical ways that my life has been transformed. There are things that um, I knew, I guess, theoretically about how different my life is from the lives that other people lead. Um, and, and also the way that I've just been accepted here. And then I started showing up and giving of my time and starting to get to know people and the community here, the volunteers and the community members have accepted me for who I am. And so it's made me more open and understanding of really listening to other people's stories and accepting them for who they are um, and not thinking about um, why people are the way they are, why they haven't done all these things, why, um, you know, why don't you have a job or why haven't you been able to make your life better or whatever it is, um, because where they are is good too, right? Everybody has a story, everybody starts somewhere and knowing that um, where we all are is where we are and that we're all God's children and um, we're gonna love and support each other and that is the most important thing. Using the language from today, we've been talking about um, relationships and we've been talking about being transformational. And sometimes in this work, we talk about being transactional. And for us, you know, it it is about those relationships and about giving people dignity and helping them lead lives of self-sufficiency. So it's not even necessarily what we're doing, but it's how we're doing that. So for instance, our food pantry, instead of giving people a box of food, they're able to come and shop for their own food, but they also shop with a volunteer. Um, and so we're also fostering those relationships. And there are literally relationships that are built between volunteers and community members because they just met one night going through the food pantry. Um, and then when you, we talk about transformation, one of our goals too, you know, we're trying to model a way of living life together in community based on um, scripture, based on the understanding, um, you know, that we're supposed to love God and love neighbor. And, we don't want that to just stop here and see your growth with common ground. And so part of that transformation is helping, especially our volunteers, um, understand how they can create that in other spaces in their lives and how they can carry that from their time here um, out into the world. And so one of the places we see that a lot is with our um, high school and college students who come and work on our summer camp staff where they have this opportunity to enter into these relationships for a couple of months every year, every day with these kids. And then they get to know these children and their families. And they, they're, once again, we're talking about the crossing those boundaries or your world getting larger. And then they understand that the world is a lot bigger than they thought it was. And then they carry this understanding and this love for this community that they never knew before out into the world wherever they're going back to. And that, I mean, that just has to be a glimpse of God's kingdom, right? Like there's no other way around that. And, and that's really what we're here to do. And, you know, there is a promise for us that, um, you know, God's kingdom doesn't, isn't just 
you know, out there somewhere that we can get a glimpse of it here and now. And when this place is at its best, that's what I get to see every day.